Hi everyone, welcome back to online classroom Jekutio. In this video, we are going to look at the planets in the solar system. In our solar system, we have eight planets. Can you memorize or arrange the eight planets according to their position? We will start from the one closest to the sun. Ready? Go. First one will be Mercury, followed by Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. So how can we remember all our planets in order? So we can make up a sentence by using all the first letter of this planet. Let's try. So here is our sentence. My very excited mom just served us noodles. Alright, you can make up your own sentence. The funnier it is, the easier you will be able to remember. It is very important that you can remember the order of the planets in our solar system. At this point, at this stage, a lot of questions will require you to know your planets well, especially the order of the planets. Okay? Now, let's take a trip today. We will visit all the eight planets in our solar system. Our first stop is the Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. And the surface here in Mercury is very similar to the surface of the moon. And there will be, you will be able to see some asteroid craters and also cliffs that is tens of kilometers high it has plains it has mountains it has valleys but one thing special about the mercury is that it do not it does not have atmosphere it does not have atmosphere our earth and a lot of other planets we have atmosphere atmosphere is a layer of gases that is uh, blanketing the whole planet it's like we are wearing a layer of jacket made of different combination of gases but mercury do not have that so light cannot be scattered in mercury and so the sky always appear dark in the outer space all right, that is Mercury. Now let's move on to Venus. Venus is also known as the greenhouse planet. That is another name for Venus, a nickname for Venus. Over here in the atmosphere of Venus, Venus do, they, they do, uh, not they, it does have uh, the atmosphere, but the content of the atmosphere has more than 96% of carbon dioxide. So we have a high content of carbon dioxide and that caused this planet to have a lot of greenhouse effect and that is why we call it greenhouse, if, uh, greenhouse planet. And this planet rotates from east to west. It is different from all the other planets. The other planets, for example, the Earth, the Mars, we all rotate from west to east. And Venus rotate the other way around. It is pretty a pretty confused planet, huh? And because the planet Venus rotate from east to west, if we are right here in Venus, we will notice that the sun actually rises from the west and the sun will set at the east. Alright? So it's the other way around. The size and age of Venus is almost the same as the Earth. The climate here is very challenging. Let's go back to our first and second point. Remember, this is a greenhouse planet. It has high content of carbon dioxide with a lot of greenhouse effect that cause the temperature here to become very, very hot, very, very high. It skyrocket up to 460 degrees Celsius. It is a crazily hot planet. Next, let's go to our beloved Earth. We are here on Earth. This is our mother Earth. This is the only place in the universe that we can find living things, at least at this point, okay? 
it also has a layer of air known as atmosphere we also have that jacket and the atmosphere on earth is actually um, very good i mean it protects us from solar wind and harmful ultraviolet rays the uv rays and radiation from outer space so this jacket do us really well okay and more than 71 percent of our earth is covered in water and about 29 percent is actual land so here is our mother earth it should be very familiar to you we stay here all right now let's move on let's take get on our rocket and let's go to mars mars is also known as red planet okay because it appears red we will talk about that in a little bit okay mars has two moons the earth only have one we only have one moon mercury and venus do not have any mars has two Okay. Their two moons has name and their names are, are Phobos and Demos. The surface area is only about 25% of the Earth and its mass is also very light. It is only 10% of the Earth. If we observe mass from the Earth, it can be div divided into two different areas. One that is covered in dust and reddish sand. That is why it appears a uh, rat to us and we call it the red planet the pores however contain frozen water and carbon dioxide well next let's move on to jupiter jupiter is a very special planet it's almost one of my favorite planet other than the earth why number one jupiter is the biggest in our solar system okay it is the biggest in size it is about 320 times of the Earth's mass. Okay, so that means we need 320 Earth to reach the mass of the Jupiter, or twice the amount of all the planets in the solar system. Jupiter also is our hero. Jupiter protects the Earth. Okay, it becomes our protector because Jupiter, because of its size, it has very very strong gravitational pull so any huge objects that is coming flying to our earth that is about to hit the earth if it is not being um, taken care of will be deflected by the jupiter because of its strong gravity it will deflect the object and protect earth from being hit and also jupiter has the most number of moon again okay? it has the most number of natural satellites so if we are right here on jupiter there are 67 moons in this planet again okay? there are 67 moon that orbits around jupiter or in another word natural satellites which we will talk more about in our coming topics next we will move on to saturn most of you know saturn because of a very special feature that is the ring around it it looks like a planet that is wearing a huge ring with a hula hoop right so saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system after the jupiter it is classified as a giant gas planet and it has a ring system which we all know but we might not know that this ring system mostly comprises of ice it is made of ice and maybe a little bit of rocks and dust so i would like to wonder that if we are traveling here to the saturn we might be able to go ice skating on the ring of saturn what do you think saturn also has a lot of moons just now when we were at jupiter jupiter has 67 moons for saturn it has 62 moons and one of the moon here that is very big it is saturn's biggest moon it's called the titan okay the name of the moon the name of the big biggest moon in saturn is called titan and titan is even bigger than our first planet 
Mercury. Remember the whole solar system, the smallest planet is Mercury and Mercury is even smaller compared to the moon of Saturn named Titan. Okay, Titan. Next, let's go to Uranus. The first elements in the interior of Uranus is actually ice and rock. It is the third biggest planet in the solar system and astronomers often refer Uranus as the giant glass gas planet as well. Okay? It is also a giant gas planet. Well, Uranus also has ring system like the Saturn, but we don't normally see them clearly because it is thinner and darker. It also has quite a lot of moon, about 27 of them. And the special thing about Uranus is when it spin, okay, when it rotate, it is uh, laying down. Look at the axis of rotation. It is almost horizontal, okay, parallel to the orbit around the sun. So that means it is rotating like this, just like Jake Kutio here. It is rotating like this. Okay, rotating horizontally, the, the, the axis. You can see a little bit of the ring here. Can you see that? It has a very uh, thin and dark ring. Okay, just like Saturn. Saturn's one is a lot more obvious. So we have two special planets that rotate differently. Venus re rotate the other way. Okay, the other way compared to the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the planets. And Uranus rotate in the axis that is already tilted okay it is as if the the uranus is laying down and rotate all right and it takes uranus 84 years to orbit the sun that is a long time and the last planet is neptune it is also a giant gas planet and it takes you Neptune even longer to go around the sun. For one whole orbit, it will take Neptune 165 years. All right. Well, that is our short trip, uh, quite a long trip actually, from Mercury all the way to Neptune. I will see you in the next video, okay? Bye. If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.